Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, taking a break from uh, some of the hot rod builds and uh, the car restorations and uh, working on the RV. I've got the 10 year old Fun Finder um, that uh, is a bit outdated. Um, so taking steps to do a lot of improvements also on, on the RV. And the last video I did, uh, look at my playlist. I replaced the uh, absorption refrigerator with a new compressor based 12 volt DC one that we really like. Uh, but the next thing I'm going to do is in this video show you how to replace the uh, linoleum floor that's pretty common in 10 year old RVs with uh, plank laminate, vinyl laminate that I picked up at Home Depot. And then also replace the old uh, park bench in there that was upholstered that they called a sofa that turned into a, into a bed. Uh, replacing that with uh, some real nice double recliners sofa from Rec Pro. But uh, anyway, please like and subscribe. Check out my playlist on e-bikes, hot rod builds, car restorations, just a wide variety of stuff. So let's get to it. All right, just got back from Home Depot, picked up my vinyl laminate flooring here. And this is the same stuff I just used uh, before Christmas in our, our family room and my office. And it is Traffic Master from Home Depot. And this covers about 24 square foot. And it's about $34 a box for 24 square foot. And it just clips together. Um, but that should look pretty good. Uh, here's the cross brace that was above the old refrigerator that I chopped out when I put the new one in. And, I think that's going to look good. Next step is to gut out what I can, take the door off the bathroom, take the toilet out, and then remove the sofa, and uh, we'll get going. So here's the linoleum that's in the camper right now. It's not terrible, but it is dated. Uh, you go to the RV shows and look at all the new RVs with all the vinyl plank wood looking flooring. So a bit outdated. And then here's the sofa. And this thing is very uncomfortable, so I have double recliners coming. And it's got this, I don't know what this is, some Egyptian pattern on here. It's also on the valences, which uh, maybe we'll take an update that. And then also on the edge here. But uh, when they put the linoleum down, they have the trailer deck with the uh, wood down there, the OSB or plywood, whatever's underneath here. And they just cover it with one big sheet of linoleum and then they build everything on top of it. So when you look in the counters, in the cabinets, uh, you'll see the same flooring continues, which I'll just leave that. So I'm going to get the carpets out, get the couch out, get the ottoman, which I'm not going to be using anymore. I'm tired of muscling that thing around all the time. Uh, take the door off the bathroom and uh, start going out. Oh, I need to remove the toilet too, which is simple to do. Uh, I'll get that out here in a bit. Oh, here's the uh, refrigerator. 12 volt DC compressor based refrigerator that I showed you how to, uh, how I replaced it in the previous video. Just tons of room, nice light, and no more monkeying with a slide thermistor on a fin that I had before to regulate the temperature. So that thing stays spot on now with the new technology. Hardly uses any current. Some progress, the toilet's removed. That's pretty simple. I'm taking the couch apart here. Got the cushions off. Now I need to take the frame apart. One thing to check that I saw on the interweb is that when the slide's in, some of the slides actually lay down and slide on the carpet when they come in. Whereas mine's a rack and pinion. And I'll show you that in here in a minute. Yeah, we can see how much crud and stuff's down in here, but I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me spin this upside down. And I actually float above the floor. So I stick my hand in there, you can see that. I'm actually floating a good inch above the floor all the way around this slide because it's a rack and pinion. So you might want to check that. And if yours goes and rides on the floor, you might have a problem. This is what I mean by rack and pinion. Here's my rack. I've got the rack across the bottom, all the gear teeth. I've got one up above. And then there's a shaft that keeps this perfectly perpendicular when the slide goes in. 
And there's two pinion gears on the inside here. Actually one motor at the top, the pinion gear. And then it comes down and connects through a shaft to the other pinion down here at the bottom. So when this goes in, it's perfectly straight going in. It doesn't go in and drop or doesn't raise up when it comes in, that sort of thing. You might want to check that. So up underneath there, you see the rollers. There's one in the middle, one on the side, and one on the other side. So I have three rollers on this slide. So that's where it goes in and out. And again, it is minus five out right now. And you can see the steam I'm blowing probably off my, just my vapor off my mouth. It's like I'm smoking a vape cigarette or something here. After doing some research, this floor is perfectly flat. All the pattern is actually just printed into it like an image. So it's perfectly flat piece of, piece of linoleum. And uh, upon some more research, I've seen people just take the laminate and go right over top of it. That way, you still have a barrier. This deck is totally sealed uh, from any moisture or anything that were to spill onto the floor. Um, because again, they have the deck, they rolled the linoleum out, and then they built everything on top of on top of the linoleum. So I think I'm gonna leave it. Laying the laminate right on top of this linoleum is gonna be much easier than cutting everything out. So that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, I'll get the vacuum out, get everything cleaned up, bring in the uh, packages, and I'm ready to start laying the floor. Making a lot of progress in the RV here. It's just time consuming, and I didn't really record any of it, even in warp speed, but, uh, or time warp on a GoPro, but uh, there's thousands of videos on how to lay this stuff. But boy, the cuts, the intricate cuts that you gotta do around all the different obstacles, and it's just time consuming, but uh, it's well worth it. Boy, I'm going from this old yellow looking linoleum that's, believe it or not, this is like perfectly clean, but it still looks dirty. It's just the print that was put on it. And now I've uh, got the toilet out. I ordered a new toilet, a Dometic 320, which is actually an elongated porcelain toilet like you have in your house, but it just doesn't have the tank on the back. Uh, I got that on order from uh, Amazon, actually. And uh, now the next step is to cut around the, uh, the flange for the toilet. And uh, I went around the door, you can see right here, cut around it. And I uh, used my plunge cutter right there. And I need to do this door frame here to put a space underneath it so I can slide the uh, laminate underneath. And just a little bit more to go and uh, get it finished up today. In, the flooring is done. A little sneak peek on an upcoming video. My recliners that are going to go into the slide came in from RecPro. Also, I've got the new toilet. 
to go in porcelain extended bowl. So looking forward to that. Get rid of the little thimble that we were using for 10 years. But uh, right now in Colorado, it's minus five degrees. <laughs> and the camper's been sitting all night. So let's go in here and uh, look at the flooring. Let me turn some lights on. Man, is it cold. This thing's an ice cube. Get all the lights on here. All right. So the flooring turned out really nice. If you want to make a major transformation to your older RV that has a linoleum floor and update it, like all the new RVs being sold, this is the way to go. A um, little bit of time cutting and doing some stuff around the edges. A couple little pieces here, it's too cold to glue these on, but covered up a piece of wood here with some extra flooring that I had. That'll look nice. But uh, check this out, all the moldings in the, around the edges and uh, made a huge difference. That, uh, little sneak peek on some upcoming videos I'm gonna put in some new LED lighting similar to what I've got in the bedroom here up underneath the slide this is really dark and we have a hard time with just this light up here lighting up when we're reading and stuff but the couch is gone the recliners are going in that's gonna be an upcoming video get the touch LED lights up underneath here and then I have some USB plugs to put in on the ledge uh, on either side of the bed so so I think I'm gonna wrap it up with this but again this is awesome the transformation in here and uh, appreciate you watching please like share and subscribe push into a thousand subscribers so let's wrap this one up thanks for watching